Hi all and welcome to this video about substages in ECAM. This video is meant to quickly talk about the concept of substages because they make up the structure for entering data into ECAM and also because the concept can be a bit confusing at first. Basically, a substage is represents one process of a water system. So the inventory, like you'll probably know by now, is split into water supply and sanitation, each with three different stages. Then in order to enter information about a stage, you actually create a substage. So it's not possible to enter specific information about, for example, abstraction until you've created an abstraction substage. You can also create multiple substages. This basically means that there are then processes that are happening in parallel. So this would be three different abstraction systems and you can then enter data that's um, different about each of them. Anything that's not entered in a substage won't be considered in your evaluation. So if I want to evaluate, for example, three different abstraction methods, one treatment plant, and two different distribution systems. For whatever reason, I would have to enter data into all of these different areas individually. That is about it for the basic concept of substages. But just to reiterate, you use them to enter all the data that's actually about the process itself and they can illustrate processes in parallel. The other thing that you could use them for is also processes that happen after another. So for example, if you have multiple treatment processes that aren't um, already included in ECAM as separate treatment processes, you could also illustrate those with substages as well. In the results section, they are then lumped together. So abstraction is seen as one, as one um, contribution to GHG emissions as well as treatment and distribution and the other stages. Okay, I hope this video was helpful to you all for understanding substages and that you all check out other videos if you have more questions. Happy assessing.